Okay, this is going to be a video on how to set up the SFML in Visual Studio. I'm using the 2010 version, but I think it's pretty much the same, the 2010 and the 2012. So the first thing you got to do is you need to actually download the SFML you want to use. I'm going to be using 2.1. Here's the downloads. I recommend downloading the 32-bit version because 64-bit computers can actually use 32 bits, but the 32-bit computers can't use the 64-bit version. And that's what it says basically down here. So find the one you need. Um, here's the Visual C plus 10, which I'm using, so I downloaded that. When you download it, you'll get this zipped folder extracted, and you get this folder here. And you need to leave that pretty much intact. So I just put that in my program files, so I just copy that right there, and then go to your program files, and paste it in there. So you can see it's right there, and that way I won't mess with it. Okay, once you've done that, you're ready to make your project on Visual C++. So I'm go to File, New, Project, and I'm choosing this Win32 console application. Uh, you can do the lower one, I believe. But um, just for simplicity, I'm going to stick with what they did in the guide. So select that and name it. So SFML test 3 is what I'm going to name it because I've already done a few tests. So OK. Finish. And there we have our, you know, the main going on. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to have to go to your properties. So you go to your project, and down here, properties, you can hit Alt F7. And then you get this window here. And under configuration properties, you check the arrow so you get a list. And then under general, you check that. Now here's a, or not general, C++. But here's a very important step that I forgot and took me forever to figure out. You have to select this up here. You go to all configurations. So now you're on all configurations. Make sure you have general selected. And you're going to have to link to where you saved your the things you downloaded, basically. So additional include directories right here. So we're going to need to put it. So let's open up a window by hitting Windows button E and navigating to where we put it. So I'm going to go into my program files, scroll down, and there's where I saved it. And for this one, we need to do the include folder. So go into include, and right here, you just leave it, click up in your directory, highlight it all, control C to copy it, and then control V in this little box here to paste it. Okay, so you're good with that one. The next one we have to go to linker and make sure it's still in all configurations. To go to linker, bring down the little arrow, click on general, and then you should see the additional library directories right here. Now we're basically going to do the same thing. Um, just to show you again, I'll bring up a new window navigate to where I saved it, so my program files down here to SFML 2.1 and then for this one we need the lob the library. So click in there go to your directory again, control C to copy it go here, control V to paste it in there making sure that it's on all configurations. Now you've got that part set up. The next part is a little bit more complicated so you're in linker and you go to input. Now you no longer need to be on all configurations. You have to do two different things. So I will start off with the the release. Click yes to save your changes. So you're in the release. You need to add all five of the libraries. Assuming technically you only need to add the ones you're going to use, but for our purposes we're going to add all five. So right here you can see from the example they use the graphics SF, SFML graphics.lib. So we're going to use all of them, which 
there's five of them right here system window graphics network and audio so just click in this little box go all the way over and type sfml dash system dot lib and use your semicolon do it again sfml dash and this time we'll do window dot lib semicolon sfml dash graphics dot lib semicolon sfml dash network make sure you type it correctly dot lib semicolon and last is sfml dash audio dot lib semicolon now copy that just for the next use. We don't have to. Or retype it because this is kind of congested. So now that was on release. You're good. But you have to switch it to debug and it I think they should show a picture, but they don't. They just kind of tell you down here. You have to switch to debug. Hit yes to save your changes. Just make sure they saved. Yep. So go to debug. And now you have to do the same thing, put a dash D after all of them. So the first thing is SFML dash system dash D, not B, but D dot LIB, semicolon. SFML dash window dash D dot LIB, semicolon. SFML dash graphics dash D dot LIB semicolon SFML dash network dash D dot LIB and SFML dash audio dash D dash LIB or dot LIB semicolon Make sure I did all this correctly. And yeah, it's basically the same libraries but with the dash D. So then you I believe you can hit OK at this point. Oh yeah, there's this um, this other option that you don't have to do is for including some DLLs, I think, in your executable. I haven't really explored that, so we're not gonna do it because you don't need it per se. Um, and I don't frankly know all the steps to that. So we're going to hit OK. And now we scroll down here and I give you an example to include. So copy that and let's replace this. And then I'm going to include the highest stream. And then you also have to include, make sure you copy that and the sfml dash graphics dot hpp okay so now if you run and compile this it's not going to work and i'm going to show you what you should see and you see it says dot dll is missing so what do you do what you have to do is navigate to your your project files basically for your Visual C++. And for me, that's on my hard drive, users, my username, documents, Visual C++ 2010 projects. So we're in the SFML test 3 project. We're going to go in there. And I believe you'll have to do this for debug also, but I've only done the, tried to compile the release. So we go into release and we can see there's our application. Now I'll save that window and open up another window. Navigate to where you saved those files we downloaded, which mine were in the program files. Go in there and then there's a folder in there that says bin. Go into that folder, it says bin. Copy all of those DLLs, control C, and then here where it says release and you see your application 
you're going to paste the DLLs. Okay, so that was in the project file, in the release file, and you pasted them. And I think if you run a debug, you also have to put them in the debug folder. So now we're going to try, and I hope it works this time. <laughs> so we're on release, and there we go. The test worked. Now we got this little green circle that's been rendered, and that is how you set up SFML on Visual Studio 2010. Good luck.